This episode was made possible through the continuing support of Mr. Andrew Cole. Thank you, sir. Hi there, guys, and welcome back to the plant. Today, we have a really cool bit of, well, high vacuum physics kind of stuff. At the moment, it is a beautiful, toasty, like 55 degrees in here. It's lovely. I could, I'm, I'm like a step away from just basking in it. However, we did a really cool thing accidentally at the plant, and I wanted to take a minute and share this with you guys. Astute viewers among you will remember that we pulled the cap off and did a whole bunch of rigging and got this whole big assembly out of the way. We've removed the rotor up here for the generator and everything above it, like it's, it's wide open up here now. And the generator shaft, the turbine shaft, has risen by like a lot. It's, it's up considerably. And in doing so, this big disc right here, which is that big disc right there, has now been picked up. Well, that lip right around the edge, that's the old seal. That's the seal that keeps the water on that side and the air on this side. Water down, air up, cool. So down below it is the turbine, which is normally immersed in water. That's kind of how it works. It's a hydropower plant. But down below that, is the rushing water. Now you can't see it at the moment because we finally got a cap on it. There's a work platform over it right now, which is just a big plywood lid sitting over the hole. And thank God it's there because that got it warm enough that I can't quite see my breath all the time in here, which is an improvement. The other thing you can't see in here is the walls being totally covered in frost. There's, there's a little bit, but that's just like really cold dew. It's not frozen anymore which is good because what happened the walls all looked like this that that's where we were because what happened when we took the lid off the casing is we opened that environment to air to, to the atmosphere in this room the atmosphere in this room that is currently clogged with the choking stench of this diesel heater because only one of them is propane so directly under that turbine is the outflow the the tail water and all of the water rushing in from outside. And there's only a little bit, most of the water is off right now. But that means instead of moving 400 cubic feet per second, we're moving like, I don't know, 50 cubic feet per second, right? That's about right, yeah. So all of that water is rushing down the hole from around the annulus through the wicket gates and down through the hole and the top of the hole is open to atmosphere in here. So what that does is as the water's rushing down the hole, it's taking some air from in here with it. We turned the building into a 20 foot cube vacuum diffusion pump, or oil diffusion vacuum pump. So we're just, we're dumping water down the hole and it's taking air with it, like a, a vacuum diffusion pump. The downside is this room is sealed about as tight as my prom date and all kinds of air found its way in. But the air outside is like five degrees and I don't know if you're aware of that, that's fucking cold. So we found a way to take a power plant and turn it into a vacuum pump and a refrigerator. Which really sucks when you have to work down near the water, on the water, with the water. It just sucks. This will just suck the heat right out of you. As any of our well-lubricated or half-frozen millwrights can attest. So that's the fun of the giant vacuum pump. Which is why today, thank God and the millwrights, we have a work platform down there that not only contained the giant oil spill of this morning, it also protects the guys from falling down the hole and it keeps us all from freezing to death. And as the skinny little electrician who doesn't do the big raw manual grunt labor all day long, this body is not built to sweat. This body is built for chess. I sincerely appreciate that hole being plugged. So to all the millwrights across America who are working their ass off in a frozen hole today, thank you for kicking ass. We appreciate it. <laughs>